back everybody to another episode of Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about episode 5 of uh, Showtime's The Shy Season 3. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the channel and if you like what we're talking about. And also don't forget to let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below and turn on those notifications. All right, so for our episode five for the shy, we finally get to see a little bit more of Keisha, who we have not seen since her disappearance in episode one. We do now know for sure she was taken. It's 100% certain. We've seen that the captive, well, the captured captive person is a male. We see that the guy uh, definitely has some kind of uh, mental complex where either it's still uncertain whether it's sexual in nature or if he has some kind of misguided uh, issues of trying to be someone's father. Has cameras on her. To me, I think it's more so sexual at heart. Just from the way he tries to make her force her to smile while he's watching her use the bathroom very creepy and in this episode we also see Emmett's uh, plan starting to unravel we also see Papa Jake and uh, Keisha's brother of course having the same usual bouts and spats as friends I mean, they've had more issues as friends than anybody else if you ask me. We also got to divulge a little bit more with Jake's uh, brother and his uh, issues, their uh, problems with uh, social services, coming and do a visit at the home to try and uh, take the steps further into getting custody of Jake. Didn't go so well as of yet. Have to wait to see later down the line to see what happens with that. We did also find out that his girlfriend has some very, uh, dis not, I'm not going to say disturbing on her part, but very uh, disturbing things that have happened to her in the past, including with her own father trying to kill her, and then ultimately her having to kill him. Yeah, that was kind of rough. I mean, they didn't shadow it in a very, very rough way, but yeah, it was kind of, that's a rough situation, period. But we do also see... Otis Perry's uh, campaign where it's going to definitely run into some issues with the north side and quite possibly even in the south side. And then in this episode, things really escalate for everybody once the power goes out for the south side and only the south side. I'm trying to think, where did I see that happen before? Oh yeah, it happened on uh, Shameless, also a Showtime show. Hmm. Coincidence? Who knows? Something that happens often. I don't know. Don't I'm not from Chicago. But that basically set up a major uh, issue for Emmett because uh, Sonny is already kind of getting suspicious. He's gotten uh, reports that lights were on after hours, and they, someone's seen Emmett there. Of course, Emmett lied about it. But then uh, the power goes out, so he has no way to cook. But he has an idea. Let's turn it into a barbecue. You cook everything outside. You smokers. Don't need electricity for that. Good plan. But the problem comes into play. Everybody's coming out there. It's really crowded. If you ask me, it's looking almost like a party. Sonny comes up. Asks us what's going on with all this. And then again lies. Sonny's like, uh, I was hoping you would tell me the truth, hoping you'd be a bigger man. But, uh, yeah, I already knew what was going on, that you were doing stuff behind my back. I was hoping that you would have told me the truth about all this. I've invested all my time into you, and you do this. I want you out. Close this all down. Done. Fired, basically. Yeah, so Emmett got embarrassed and all that in front of everybody. Sucks for Emmett. But while all this is going on, his own mother has uh, some issues going on. 
she's starting to date her co-worker they go to his family's i guess barbecue gathering whatever you want to call it introduced to his mom right off the back you can see it's going to be a problem basically the mom and whoever i'm don't know if that's his brother mom's boyfriend i hope that's his brother and not boyfriend because he looks like half her age but no judgment so uh, they make light of the fact that she really doesn't know any Spanish. Starts talking in Spanish right in front of her. I'm like, that's a bit disrespectful, especially the way they were looking. And then they bring up about his wife, who technically has died, but they didn't start off in that way. And I'm like, this is the first time meeting somebody. You don't mention a man's dead wife. It just seemed like a way, a whole setup. But things kind of uh, die down just a bit once the power goes out. So we have to wait until episode 6 to see what happens on that front. But at the same time of all of this is going on, Keisha, during the power outage, loses her, I'm not going to say loses her mom, but loses her cool. Starts tearing up the basement that she's in, being held captive in. Uh, knocks down the, I want to say, steel uh, shelf. And takes a part of it to try and start breaking down the door, which has a lock on it. She eventually does break down that door and get the lock off. And has to go up the steps to this other door. Which she manages to break through and get outside from there. My only issue is, she gets outside, falls to the ground into the grass. And basically stops there, wailing and all. I, I know it feels good to be able to get out and escape. But you don't stop right there. You keep going. And what happens, because she stops right there, the guy finally catches up to her, gets outside, grabs her, starts to pull her back in. She starts screaming. And yes, the screams are heard by our homeless man. Former soldier. But sadly, uh, we don't know what happens yet. He hears it, calls, calls out her name, but we don't know anything else. Because what happens? The episode cuts off and... I have to wait till episode six. See what happens. Maybe uh, he finds her, helps get her free. Don't know. Do they comb that area? Have to wait and see. But there are a few things with this show that still are pissing me off. One, what happened to Otis's uh, trial? What happened to his investigation? All of that. What's going on with that? What happened to Brendan's uh, truck? I mean, that would have been a great thing for Emmett to use. That would help his business. So, are we going to get answers to those two things? Who knows? Maybe. I really hope so. But, uh, what, what issues do you have with the show now? Or, do you not have issues? Do you like it still? Uh... What do you think? Thoughts on the whole Kisa situation? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below about this episode and the show in general. Until next time, thanks for watching.